Weston Ayers, are you ready to see something amazing? My super duper awesome balancing skills have been improved. Okay, so let's put this neck warmer, a really small neck warmer, and then this. I did it. It's like the third time in a row I did this. Howdy, Weston Ayers. It is me, Weston Ayers, and. I'm super duper balanced not Okay then, well I'm gonna take my baby pen and I'm gonna go do a QA now. So bye! That is rain. You probably can't see it in the camera because it really doesn't show up, but it's pouring down rain all of a sudden. Uh, we just we just shot the first part of the QA. I'm I'll probably gonna put this after, but this is awesome! So this is like after just from that part, we are over by the pool and this thing it's like pouring. Show the girl. <laughs> yeah, that is so crazy. This is this is this is happened since like Halloween. This is awesome. Okay, I promise this is the last clip of the rain, but I'm really excited about it. But look at the rain's coming off the roof, and that's a lot. That's really a lot. And also, you probably can't see it in the video, but the drains are just they're just it's just crazy. Um. Well, uh, let's get let's get on with the Q and A then. Peace. So, as y'all saw there, it is, <laughs> some guys running in the rain, but it is pouring rain. I have a window right there, by the way, but that's awesome. I guess, I guess the, I guess God wanted the rain for my Texas Q&A and also bop it for some reason. But let's do, let's go on with the first Texan raining Q&A question. Yeah, I love it. Here we go. So. Aaron Krauss says, I'm wondering why you don't have any Texan draw or accent. Okay, so, when we first moved here, moved, moved here, um, we went to a dialect coach, because everyone was, everyone was talking about, have like a, like a, like a slush. It was really bad, <laughs> I've heard it in the, before in the past, but, uh, I, we, I get, we got that all fixed up, and now I speak regular now. Sounds really awesome, but yeah, rain. Here we go. Lorenzo Scodrote says, "What kind of food is typical typical in Texas?" Okay, so where I live, we're in like the Louisiana. We're basically at the very edge of the Louisiana border, and so we had both Texan food and crawfish. Well, Louisiana food. So we had like shrimp, crawfish. We had all that stuff. Also, we had steak, baked potatoes. Pretty much everything you think of, and it was amazing. So I'm, I'm hungry now. Bye. <laughs> what happened? Wait, stop pouring down. Wait, no, it's still sprinkling. We're all good, but let's continue. At Andrew Besson says, "Is there a place in Texas that you never uh, that you've never been, but you'd love to visit?" Um, I don't know. I, I think I probably Austin was probably like my top thing. I think, but uh, yeah, Austin because I've already I've already been Six Flags and stuff. So yeah. Next, Christian. Yes. Weird. Anyway, George Lopez says you live so close to Houston. Are most people in city in the city Texas fans? Okay, so where I lived uh, was basically at the Louisiana and Texas border right there orange texas and in my little city or town um most people really weren't texas fans because they were as texas are sort of texans are sort of new the but most people are dallas cowboys fan that's for sure like 99 percent of the people are dallas cowboys fans so dallas cowboys here we go california 02 says do you miss your old Texas home? And what is the best meal you've ever had in Texas? Okay, so I definitely do miss my Texas home because it's my herm. I love herms. But anyway, my best meal. Um, I don't know. Uh, probably what probably, probably my best meal was uh, my uncle Drew. Every once in a while, we would have he would basically boil crawfish and shrimp, and it was. Amazing. I loved it. I'm hungry again. Come on! And, um, this is, this is really weird. I don't know science at all, but it goes, the rain is literally like, it goes from a little bit raining, like every other, like, like, question. It goes like a little rainy, all of a sudden goes, 
gosh, I'm, like really, I'm trying to record here. But, um, yeah. Probably stuff you really don't need to know, but yeah. Troubles of YouTube with Weston McClelland. Yeah. Anyway. Lo Looney Cartoonist says, have you ever visited the jo Johnson Space Center? I have not. Isn't that like a, like a NASA thing? But, uh, I've seen pictures, but it looks awesome. Um, I definitely want to go. Every next time I vi go visit Texas, I'm probably going to go see that. So, yeah, rain problems. Okay, rain. Oh, it's starting up again. There we go. On cue. Here we go. Andy McAllister says, what school do you go to in Texas? Uh, what school did I go to? It was WS, West, West Orange Dark. And um, there was high school, middle school, and elementary. And it was awesome because they got the uh, elementary redone like like a few years back. And it's just awesome. They had like giant pillars. The cafeteria is huge. And also, one of my favorite moments was they had this science room which had like all like the coolest equipment you could ever imagine and I still haven't explored every single bit of that place but it's just awesome so W S E M and H yeah here we go Jonathan QK says have you ever been to Palo Dorado Canyon I think that's how you say it sorry if I butchered that but um what was the best thing about Texas as well okay so I've never been to that canyon before it sounds cool sounds like a baby um I can't remember about the big the Grand Canyon. There we go. Good job, cameraman. Or lady. Anyway. Spoilers. Anyway. Uh but um best thing about Texas. Um rain. Right outside. On cue again. And um Texas. Texas is the best thing about Texas. Boom. Best way to answer that question. That's how I do it. Boom. Here we go. John at John W Mentor says, "What's the best thing about living in Texas?" And I've actually got some family in Houston, Texas. Well, that's cool. Um, that's pretty cool. That you you got some family in Texas, but um, best thing about living in Texas, um, probably the weather is one of the best things. But definitely family is like the best thing in Texas. Is literally all my family is there, and like my probably my second thing. It's probably going to be rain, not rain, but weather, because literally, there's a joke, every 30 minutes, the, the weather changes, so, literally, that's actually true, 30 minutes, it'd be raining, 30 minutes, it'd be, it feel, it'll, it'll feel like winter, 30 minutes, it'll feel like summer all of a sudden, but, um, weather and family, boom, this is the last question that Jackson got, I know, you see, I'm sad, I'm a good actor, for this. Anyway, let's do the last question of Texas Q&A. <laughs> Ready. At Habs Rule 743 3 says, What does the ultimate Texas meal consist of? I saved this question for last. I really didn't. This is like, like pure luck. But, um, okay, so, let's go with the basics of Texas. Uh, steak, baked potatoes, uh, barbecue, sticks, um, what else? And I'll go with the Louisiana side. Crawfish, shrimp, um, I can't think of anything else. Maybe some clams. I don't know. Uh, probably that. So, I, I can't go over that. It'll probably take me an hour to do that. But, um, yeah. It's a Massachusetts meal. Yeah, this is really awkward now. I'm just, just, just in that there. So, that's all the time I have for today, sadly. <laughs> Sorry about that, I was melting. Anyway, that was all the time I have for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna do a quick like goal. 10 likes on this video. I, I dare y'all to get 10 likes on this video. I'm gonna try doing that now. I'm gonna try to remember. But, um, this is a really fun QA to do because one, it was raining, which is extremely rare. Two, it's a Texas QA. Why wouldn't it be fun? And three, I love the questions. You guys had. Like the greatest questions ever on this q and I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious right now, but um, yeah, uh, I'm going in the Q&A before it hits 10 minutes, which probably already has, but yeah, I'll see you next time. Yeah.